All right, so here we go on the axle for the automobile blocks car. Um, I'm going to go ahead and make this a little bigger. So this part is going to be created with a revolve. A lot of students are going to try to create this with a bunch of extrusions, uh, circles and holes. I mean, it seems easier at first, but I promise you it's not the best route. Okay, so we are going to look at this little axle uh, as if we've taken a slice of it, like it's a piece of oddly shaped cake. Um, so we are we are simply going to draw almost like what you see in the section view, but half of that. Okay, you could draw it all and still create your axis. That's fine, but let's do half. Okay, so I'm going to start this just with a, a construction line, if you will. So I'm going to create one line. That is the entire length of this axle. Uh, so that is, I should have started at the origin. Okay, so this entire axle is 0.86 long. 0.86. Okay, so now we're going to start working our way around. This center line is really what we're going to use to revolve our drawing. So I'm going to just start with a few lines. Okay, so this line up here is going to be really the part that's inside of the car. Okay, so this is a straight line that is 0.33. Okay, and, and you can kind of chain these lines however you want. Um, and then we're going to go half of this inner diameter, uh, which is 0.19. That's the diameter. So we're going to grab its radius. And just right here in Inventor, I'm going to divide that by 2. Okay, so you're starting to see a little bit of, of what this is inside. Um, and I'm going to take this and dimension it where it needs to be. So I know that the diameter from the center point out here, which would be its radius, but th this size right here, okay, is 0 0.19, 0 0.19 divided by 2, okay, so, and that's correct, that should have brought this right onto that, okay, because this little piece is essentially going to be our, our midpoint, okay, so next part we have, uh, we'll start to get to some of these little details over here, Okay, so we get into a little lip out here on the end. Okay, so I'm going to grab my line tool, and essentially what you're creating is a shape that looks like this. Okay, so we'll go in and put in these dimensions. Okay, um, so we are going to dimension this line from our center. Okay, I know that the radius that 0.29 is just half of this diameter. Okay, brings that to the right spot. Uh, I know that this is a diameter of 0.25, so we'll go to the center point and half of 0.25 is 0.125. Okay, and then I'm checking on some of these depths. Okay, so the depth of that lip is 0.05. Ooh, I got that pretty close. 0.05. Okay. We're getting there. And let's see, what else can we do? That'll pretty much tidy that little spot up. Okay, we'll start working on these other lines and kind of shift that stuff around here. Okay, so now we're into this middle part. And actually, we don't have a dimension on this line, but it's okay. We'll push it around once, we're, once we get it set. So now I'm grabbing this little lip, and this takes on this shape, okay, like that. So when I dimension this, that is 0.07 okay and this dimension here from there to our center line we have a size I'm going to drag that out over here 
that diameter on our drawing is 0.4 and we need half of it so 0.2 we're working in all radii so that when we revolve it goes all the way around okay this dimension 0.33 is cool okay we won't be able to actually move this point over until we get a little bit more drawing done okay so now this is where things get kind of weird um, we are going to have some of our line work down here and then this is actually going to be like a taper over okay so I need to come over here first and I'm going to draw some lines okay and I'm going to use this just to get this straight over okay really could have used that as a point okay let me trim this up Okay, and then I'm going to come over here and keep working. This line right here is 0.19. Okay, uh, and then that goes up. That diameter is 0.25, so half of that is 0.125. Oops, that's not the line length, that is its position. So we just draw that a little bit. And then that is dimensioned. The tip of that from here is 0.125. I can't believe I got that right on. Okay, 0.125. And then this comes straight out to here. Okay, now it's starting to look a little bit better. Trim that guy up. Okay, so now we can start setting some of our lengths. Okay, so really this dimension down here is irrelevant at this point because we are going to make it at up here. So from this line to this line, basically the extents of the entire axle, that is 0.86. Okay, so now we're cooking. Okay, so that's 0.86, and things should start to get in line a little bit better. So that's 0.33 to there. Okay, that's 0 0.07, 0 0.19. And really this dimension here, that 0.19, is from this line to this line. That's 0.19. Okay. Yeah. Now it's starting to look good. Okay. Now we have this center part. Okay. So this is the end of that line. I know it's kind of hard to see because of some of these dimensions. This one's kind of getting in the way. Yeah. There you go. Okay. So this line is going from here down to the center. This will be that rib in the middle, basically separating the axle side from the car side. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Everything looks pretty good. Okay, 0.19. All right, so this is where things get a little weird. We have to put in a little lip up here. So you'll see this line actually tapers Okay, so instead of that straight line there, we just deleted that. This piece goes over 0.05, and it goes down just a little bit. Okay, so it goes down 0 0.01, 0 0.01. Okay, now that is the point at which this connects. Okay, and you should get a nice little angled piece there, and that's just to give it a, a better fit with the actual wheel. Okay, so that... That looks great. Okay, that looks good. I'd say we are ready to revolve. Okay, so now I'm going to finish my sketch. I'm going to click revolve. Ooh, it doesn't like something. Let me go ahead and trim this up. So let me edit the sketch. And this line really isn't needed any longer. 
then let's put this line in. Do we have a complete set of lines all the way around? Looks like we got no open loops. Finish sketch. Revolve. Hey, that was it. Okay, so our profile was automatically selected. So now it wants to know what's our axis. Well, our axis is this center right here. Okay, and just like that, you have your axle. Okay. The one last step other than specifying its material is cutting in the groove. So we'll make a new sketch on this face and this is essentially just a rectangle and then we're going to cut it in. Okay, so I'll leave these dimensions up to you Okay, but you're essentially going to create a rectangle. Now most of you will use a regular two-point rectangle. I recommend grabbing a two-point with the center point. Okay, we'll click at the center to start this and that way you're nice and even on both sides and you can set this. My drawing's a little blurry and I actually can't even see what these are, but something along these lines, okay? And then you'll have to put those dimensions in. You'll finish this and when you extrude this, you're going to use it as a cut. So it didn't really matter that we made it much larger because we're going to be cutting this in and You'll set however deep that is supposed to go. Again, I don't have that drawing on me right now. And we'll hit OK. And this should be a green ABS plastic. So we'll go down here, grab its material, ABS plastic, color. I believe we have a glossy green. Somewhere. green polished that's that doesn't look good hey that looks good dark green okay that's it save your work